Hey, you made it! Welcome back to Kidzone TV. It's so good to see you guys again, and if you can't tell, um, things are looking pretty good. Uh, Kyle has recently undergone a software update. Uh, we've changed a few things. Absolutely nothing can go wrong. Ah! Ah! What? what happened? Ah! It's so dark! Wait, wait, this isn't the sleepover episode! I Kyle! Kyle, where's the lights? Kyle, did you forget to pay the electric bill? Me? Forget? Sean, I am a fully functioning multi-billion dollar AI. Cool. I don't simply forget to do menial tasks. Thanks, Kyle. However, I did accidentally hit the virtual light switch. Sorry about that. Oh, oh Power that's, is back. That's good, uh... Now. Uh, alright, uh, well, that was saying, uh, welcome back to Kids on TV. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's time for a new game that we have never played before called Pictionary or Dictionary. Dictionary? Dic it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm afraid again. Do you have a fear of dictionary? Did you see the episode where I tried to spell things? Oh, well, that's oh, true. Yeah. yeah. Keep that word monster at least two feet away from my face. Well, that's going to be a little bit of a problem for today's game. So, here's how this is going to work Sarah and I are going to pick a word and I have to find it in the dictionary while Sarah draws it like we're playing Pictionary. And during this, we're both gonna be trying to get you to see exactly what word. I will find it on the page, show it to you, and you will have to read it okay. unless you can figure out what she's drawing first. So whoever can get the word to you quickly ah! wins. Okay. Um, I thought that was attacking me. Ah! It's, it's okay, it's just a dictionary. I can't spell. It's okay. So, let's get started with our first word. All right, let's get started looking for our word in three, two, one. Ah! Uh, wait, what? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Uh, ah! Oh, oh, it's a, it's a, a, a bird. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. A bird. Frogfish. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it's a frog. Yes! It's a frog! Sarah. Ah. Woo! I'm All right, my fingers. Dictionary Coming. or Pictionary. It's time. We're gonna start our second word in three, two, one. Man, you really have to be good at like, flipping through pages. You to, have uh, no idea. I'm remember, um, I can't remember. Don't get this confused with another that. thing. It looks ah, like a weird boat. Further, 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 further. Oh, is it a hey, ship? Hey, 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 hey. Over here. Ship. Over here. Banana Wait. float. What the heck are you drawing? Uh, banana. Uh, oh, watermelon. Dang it! Yes! <laughs> I think he just doesn't want to look at the I had thing. it on water. It was on the page instead of water. Dictionaries <laughs> are hard to use. <laughs> yes, they are. They can't help They're you very scary. It. Keep that thing away. I thought you would say pizza. Okay. All right. It's time for our next word in three, two, one. Go. Is it a rainbow? I'll look at more Collins this time. Yeah, it's a bit more. Uh, that's not a pot, coke, pasta, poodle, no. plastic, no. pineapple, pig. So, I, okay, why are there so many P? So it begins with a P. P uh, yeah, um, yeah. That, I, think, that means... I think this will help you out here, unless oh, it's uh, too. Phone. Yo! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Poor Dick. I thought this would be so much easier. All right. Colin, you seem to be failing at this game. I I, I didn't realize. We're going to switch soon. We're going to switch okay. soon. Okay. All right. So. Can't compete with my amazing drawing yeah, fingers. Exactly. Okay. All right. <laughs> In three, two, one. Draw. Okay. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, it's like draw. It's just, uh, doesn't really work for him. Colin, maybe you can like find a word that has a picture in it, like a dictionary has a picture of it. Oh, there's Jimmy Carter. Trying, 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 trying. He was the president. Uh, oh, what other pictures um, are in here? Um, um, oh, look, it was uh, Rosa Parks. Uh, what other pictures? Uh, oh, that's a map of Texas. Oh, no, no, go back. Oh, no pictures. Where's the word at? Where's the word at? Come on, it's in here, it's in here, it's in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Camera ready. Yeah. Oh, yes. That was the camera. Yeah. I actually saw yours. And I was gonna say washing machine. So. Wow. Dictionaries are actually amazing, people. I'm sorry. Ah! Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Go. Draw. Okay. 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 
so many S E words. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh goofy. Oh. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's not that. It's big. Uh, You're close, John. It's this. It's, uh, uh, Interesting. Uh, no. That's an old man. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's, that's a word I don't know man. how to pronounce. Um, oh, that's a shield. Uh, that's. Not, I wish that were it. Um, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Uh, this is that word. It's that word. It's that word. It's that word. Shoe. Yes. What? I didn't really look at Sarah, so. Well, what, what, does it? Does it look like a shoe? I had actually said it was a shoe. <laughs> okay, all right, it's time to switch. Uh, we need to see if Sarah's as good as a dictionary. She has a draw on things. All about okay. knowing where the little thumb things are. Okay. 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 All right, you ready? Yep. You wanna count it off? Three, two, one, go. Mm. Tree. Bad tree. Uh, tree that no one wants to sit it's, around. It's like a. Uh, Got to do your alphabet. Um, Let's see. Oh, it's not that. It's ketchup. It's, no, it's not, it. it's not that. It's not. That's not it. Uh, it. Bottle. It's, it's like. It starts. Um, uh, uh, is it, uh, I don't even know how that. How do we put that? Uh, oh, salt. This is harder than I thought. No, Close. it's like. Um, Pepper. It's, it's shaker. Like, uh, salt and pepper like shaker. Like a, like a, like a ton of like, what? Salt and wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Here, how to, mm, here. That looks like a lava planet. Uh, sauce, sauce. Like ketchup sauce. Oh. Nobody calls it ketchup sauce. I didn't know what to put there. I that was sauce. Hard that was a really hard one. Get your sauce here. All right. Let's get started in on this one. In three, two, one. Okay. I think what we've learned today is that. Colin can't find words come, and come he can't draw. Oh, banana. Yeah. Oh, ah! I literally had it too, right next to bamboo. I was so <laughs> bamboozled. How banana. did you get banana from that though? That doesn't look like It's a really it bad does, banana. Though. It's a really bad banana. It's missing the stem. That almost looks like a boomerang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's get started in this one. In three, two, one. I'm gonna guess uh, closing my eyes. Um Hey. Kangaroo. Hey. hey. Trampoline. Hey. Hey. Uh, look at that. What is that? No, no, it's, oh, um, oh, oh, oh. That's a. Uh, don't look. Close your eyes. Look. Here. What is it? Uh, it's uh, That's a cold front moving through. Uh, oh my goodness. Is what is that? Is, it's rain. It's... <laughs> Come on. That was rain. that was so clearly rain. On page one thousand one hundred and eighty-four. So... Rain. Look at that. Water falling to earth in drops larger than zero point five five millimeters. Sarah, I think we have been trying very hard on this one, and Sean's just been doing this. So I think let's have him use the dictionary and the iPad and have him try to communicate a word to both of us doing it at the same time. Oh, uh, that's intense. Uh, okay. I think it's great. You can pick whatever word you like. Okay. Okay? You have to use both. So you're going to be trying to communicate the word to Sarah through the dictionary and the iPad to me, okay? Okay, okay. Okay? <laughs> okay. I think you can do this. Okay. Everybody at home, he's totally got this, right? Uh, I can hear them say no. What? No. Ready? No. I, this is how you can overcome your fear of dictionaries. We're, uh, this we're is scary. Ready. One hand on each, buddy. Okay. <laughs> one, <laughs> one hand in flip. One hand on each. Ready? Three, three two, one. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a circle. Uh, no, it's not a circle. Uh, it's uh, a uh, proportional. Uh, I'm uh, trying to see. What is it? Um, um, I'm trying not it's to. A like, uh, um, it's a potato. Um, it's a potato. It's a zebra. No, 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 no. Um, 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 hmm. um principle. Like a principle in a school. Uh, or is it the principle? Uh, as, uh, it's like, a flower. Uh, Who? Did I just say yes to Um, no, it's uh, guys. Oh, it's a pineapple. Yes. Uh, Sorry, I couldn't find the eyes, Sarah. It's a pineapple. Okay, it's well, you pineapple. gotta find the pineapple. Now is Sean really the winner? <laughs> He's pineapple. overcoming his Where's winner. the eyes? Where is it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. You got it. Come on. He gave up. Hello, everybody. Now you know using a Pictionary or a Dictionary. A is... <laughs> Thanks for playing, guys. <sighs> All right, let's check out what's in my case today. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? It's time for the Action Voice Movie Narrator Guide. 
Everybody, get your deepest action voice possible and get ready for our scripture verse. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2, 8. Kapow! Alright, let's see what other type of voice we have in here. It's the town crier! Are you ready for this one? Repeat after me! In your best loud voice so that everyone in the neighborhood can hear you scream! Alright, repeat after me! God's grace! has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2 colon 8 All right, we can't just sit around all day like Sean when the power goes out and not do anything, right? We've got to get up on our feet and celebrate how awesome Jesus is. So get up on your feet. We get to celebrate how great he is. Let's sing and dance. Let's hit it. Here we go. You're gonna follow me, all right? We usually go back and forth between the boys and the girls, but right now, we're gonna do it all together as one. So grab your brother, grab your sister, grab your parent. Let's all do this. Here we go. Come on. Here we go!
this together. You're the same today you've always been And your love for me will never end You're the faithful one Your word is true All my hope is found in you Let's sing this out together guys, really sing out to him Okay, boys and girls, let's bow our heads and close our eyes and pray. Father God, we thank you so much for the free gift of your love for us, the free gift of salvation that you've given us so that when we receive your love, we are forgiven and we get to live in heaven forever with you. Thank you for how much you love us. Thank you that we don't have to earn this love, that you just love us because you are good. So we love you so much. We thank you for your free gift. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the newsroom. Um, I'm at a loss for words as to what's happening. Uh, I'm told by my producers I need to mention the Parent Q app. Please look at this. But uh, while you're downloading that, if you don't already have it, uh, take a look at what's being brought up now. I've never seen anything like this before. That's, uh, that's right. Uh, light bulbs are now dancing. Uh, if you thought you could dance, so can a light bulb. Let's go now to weather to see exactly if anything else is dancing or any other new developments have come up. Oh, well, uh, hello there. Uh, 
in a few weeks we have something coming up that involves the lights. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is, uh, but rest assured we will figure out exactly what the weather is exactly for this thing. Uh, but I believe it's something with the lights, so be prepared. Something fun is definitely coming. All right, everybody, welcome back to our Me 3. Now, we've done a lot of reading, a lot of doing, but now it's time to jump right back into the stuff that we say and the stuff that we're really just praying to God. So, remember how earlier in this episode we saw Sean get pretty scared of that time in the dark? Well, a lot of times we can all get scared. I mean, it can really be anything in the world that you're scared of. And this week, I want you to think about the things that you're scared of. Not so that you can get more scared, but I want you to think about those things and say those things that you're scared of to God. Because sometimes whenever we have those things that we're scared of, they don't become that scary once we say it to somebody else. And whenever we say things that we're scared of to God, they really don't seem that scary because we know that God is stronger, He's bigger, He can do so much more than those things that we're scared of. So this week, whenever you're scared, things that you think of that you're scared, maybe your brother or sister will even scare you at some point this week, I want you to say those things to God. And it can even be something really small and an easy prayer that goes like this. God, I'm kind of scared right now about this. I'm not feeling too good on the inside about it. And it makes me really sad when I think about it. But I know that you're bigger than it and I'm going to give this to you. Amen. Those prayers like that, whenever we say it to God exactly like that, there's something really awesome that can happen. So just try it this week. Say something to God whenever you're feeling scared. It's story time, guys, so sit back, get ready to listen. In our story today, we meet a girl about your age and how she learned that it's not about how much we do for God that matters, but it's about how much God loves us that matters. So sit back and enjoy this story. I think you're really gonna love it. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter two, verses eight and nine. Rin grabbed a handful of granola bars from the pantry and tossed them in her duffel as Aunt Dina watched. I don't know if they'll have snacks there. Aunt Dina raised an eyebrow and took a sip of coffee. Is it one of those church camps? I guess, I, I mean, Jess invited me. It's in the mountains, it sounds cool. You're gonna have to shape up, you know. You don't go to church like them. Hey, I don't get in trouble. Rin's aunt grinned and shook her head. <laughs> Whatever you say, hun. Rin's mom breezed in with a rain poncho and handed it to Rin. Come on, Dina. Rin's a good kid, and she's going to have a great time. There's Jess. You go and have fun. It was a three-hour trip up to Camp Pickery. Jess and her mom chattered away, but Rin couldn't help thinking about Aunt Dina's offhanded comment. I do mess up. A lot. Images scrolled through Rin's head like scenes from a film. The times Rin snapped at her little brother. Go away, Keegan. You're such a pain. That time last week when Mom shut off Rin's internet access. That is so not fair. And Rin snuck the password off of her mom's phone. And that exam where she accidentally saw the answer off of her friend's test and wrote it down anyway. I shouldn't have done that. Hey Rin, we're almost there. Jess's cheerful voice cut into Rin's thoughts. She tried to smile as she looked out out the window at the winding mountain road and high blue sky. Great! Rin's worries haunted her as they checked in and made their way to the cabin. These kids all go to church. They know the right stuff to say and do. Rin glanced over to see Jess struggling with her oversized duffel and backpack. She decided it was time to level up. Hey, let me get that for you. But you've got... I can do it. Rin staggered toward the cabin, hauling both of their bags. Inside, they met their counselor, Sally. Hey there, I think this is all of us now. I'm really sorry, but the bottom bunk by the door is kind of creaky. We usually draw straws to see who will sleep there. I'll take it. What? Oh, well, that's great. At dinner, 
Rin looked out for more ways she could blot out the memories of her mistakes. They ran out of cherry cobbler. Here, you can have mine. When Sally spilled her water, Oops, I'll just, I got it. I'll run over to the kitchen and get a towel. After dinner, everyone hiked the half mile toward the outdoor amphitheater for the evening gathering. Rin's eyes darted back and forth, looking for more ways to help. Hey, you can slow your roll now. Sally fell into step with Rin, who grinned sheepishly. This is all kind of new for me. <laughs> me too. It's my first year as a counselor. It's just, everyone here has gone to church forever. They've got it all together. <laughs> Trust me, they don't. I don't. But at least they know the rules, the right stuff to do. Rin, you have been incredibly helpful and kind since you got here, which is awesome. But you don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. At camp? Yeah, at camp, but also with God. That's what this week is about. Having fun and relaxing, knowing that it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. God totally loves and accepts you anyway. Rin frowned as she hopped over a fallen log across the trail. I lied to my mom last week. Well, own up to it. She'll still love you, and it sure won't change how God feels about you. <laughs> Not to be all churchy, but can I tell you this verse I love? Sure. It's the first thing I read when my friend Carl gave me a Bible three years ago. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Christ, that means Jesus, right? Yeah, we'll talk about all that this week, but just know you can't work for God's love. He already loves you completely. Whether or not you lie to your mom or take the creaky bunk, or give away your dessert. It just feels like, I don't know, I should have to do something. I know, right? But just letting God love you, that's the most important thing. Doing good stuff comes after knowing how loved you are. Rin took a deep breath trying to take it all in. As the dust began to settle, she saw a large campfire ahead with rows of benches. Jess waved. Hey Rin, we saved you a seat. Rin turned back to Sally. Do you have a place to sit? Go ahead. I'll see you for s'mores after. Rin jogged over to the bench where Jess and the other girls from the cabin were sitting. It was a lot to process, but for the first time all day, she felt like she could relax because she knew there was nothing she had to do to fit in. Whoa, so today was an awesome episode and I think we learned a lot of really cool stuff, especially how much Sean hates the dark. That's pretty some crazy stuff. I'll yeah, tell you. hopefully Kyle doesn't mess with anything and doesn't accidentally flip yeah. the light switch off again. Got updated, man. Like, uh, that was uh -huh. that was nuts. But the other thing that we learned is it's not so much about how we earn things from God as, as it is about how much God loves us and we can just accept his free gift of love and salvation for us, which is a pretty cool thing to remember. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And remember that gift whenever you're going through life, because sometimes things can be kind of scary, especially with Mr. Sean out there in the dark. <laughs> I'm so afraid. What was that? Uh, Sean probably saw a dictionary again. I think I that's did. what it was. Oh. <laughs> I, I, should we go take care of that? Uh, yeah, we should, we should probably check on him. Um, Kids O Band, can you play us out? I'm scared.